guys, welcome back to Empowerin. I'm Carolyn Perry Thomas. Thank you so much again for watching. So I have been getting an overflow of comments about nursing math. And since I know it's the holiday season, but that also means that a lot of you guys are going to be starting nursing school very soon. So I wanted to just, before I get into some math calculation problems, which I'm going to show you in a second, I want to tell you a little bit about where I came from. I was never somebody that considered myself to be very intelligent. Um, I had a lot of other qualities that, you know, kind of made up for that. I was really good in sports. I was good um, with acting classes. I was, I was good with a lot of other things that kind of made up for that. Things really started to get serious though when I was in the eighth grade and you know my guidance counselor and my teachers and the principal of the school were basically all kind of saying that they were kind of telling my parents that you know Caroline's not able to keep up with students that are her age. And so I was tested for learning disabilities and I was held back an entire year in eighth grade. Also, when I got to high school, there was not one summer where I did not go to summer school. And most of those classes were for math classes. When I did decide that I wanted to go back to college, I actually had to take remedial math classes to get myself up to college level. So all of this building up onto each other, you guys will really realize that I am not an expert in math. Once I finished the remedial math classes, and I started the college classes that were the prerequisites for nursing. I, you know, I did well. I got like a B average in most of my math classes, but that was working so hard. I mean, like sweating, staying up late, waking up early, just giving it all I, all I have. When I got to nursing, though, in the nursing classes, I was actually surprised to see um, how basic the questions were. It was really just basic algebra. And I just want to encourage you guys, like, if I can do this, so can you. So if math is something that's stopping you from considering nursing or scaring you, then I just want to add a little bit of comfort. Many nursing schools will have a pass or fail exam, and I, I do have to say that's very scary. Um, but what I do want to tell you is that there's a reason why these are pass and fail. It's because if you practice enough questions, you should be able to pass it with 100%. Because, like I said, these are very basic questions. And in real life, you can't get these problems wrong. Because one miscalculation could have very severe problems to your patient. I do have in my second book, which is called New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love, Your First Nursing Job, I do have an entire chapter that's dedicated to mistakes. Why did I add that chapter? One of the hardest things that I did, but I really felt like it was necessary because when I made my first mistake, I had about 10 nurses that came to me and told me mistakes that they also made. And what I learned from that was that I'm not perfect, I will make mistakes, but I can keep going and I can still be an excellent nurse. So that's really why I wanted to share that with you. Not because I want to like embarrass myself, but because I really want to encourage you guys because, you know, most likely the odds are against you if you're working for, you know, a number of years that you will make a mistake. You will miss something important. So I just want to encourage you guys that it doesn't mean that you're a bad nurse or a bad person. I just wanted to give you a quick little synopsis of what math, uh, nursing math is like. So I thought we could just do, you know, one or two sample questions. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, then give this video a thumbs up and post a comment and let me know. But let's get started. Here is the basic calculation um, algorithm that we must remember, and it's basically ordered over on hand equals x. So one question that you might see is that the doctor orders 250 milligrams of Levaquin, and on hand you have a 500 milligram tablet. So how much do you give? We'll see here. So we have ordered is 250 milligrams. On hand, we have a 500 milligram tablet. So how much will we give? So we just work it out and we will give half a tablet. So let's do another question like that. Another question would be, Cipro 500 milligrams is ordered on hand, you have Cipro 500 milligrams. What is that going to equal? If you take Cipro 500 milligrams is ordered, and that's one tab. On hand, you have Cipro 500 milligrams 
and that's one tab, then how many are you going to give? And the answer is 500 milligrams or one tab. Now, this question looks super simple, and it is. But something that they might try to do is they might try to give you a scenario. And the scenario could be something like a 20-year-old woman comes in and they'll tell you the symptoms. Frequent urination, painful burning, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll give you a bunch of other information that is not, you know, relevant to this. They might say the doctor ordered IV fluids, the doctor ordered a urinalysis, and the doctor ordered Cipro. So you get all of this information, but yet the actual question is only asking you for this one thing. So even though these questions look very simple, they still can be kind of hard. So I'm going to give you one more example. And so this could be the doctor orders 100 milligrams of metoprolol. On hand, you have 25 milligram tablet of toprol. So let's do that. So the doctor orders 100 milligrams of metoprolol. And on hand, you have 25 milligrams. If you, take, if you calculate that, I'm sure you can do this in your head, but it would be four tabs. So guys, there are a few other um, calculation examples that I could give you. If this is something you guys are interested, just give this video a thumbs up and um, let me know. And anyways, I can't wait to see you guys again soon, and I hope you guys have a wonderful time for the holidays. I'm going to spend a lot of time with my family. I'm sure you guys will too. And I really look forward to seeing you guys um, maybe after the holidays, maybe next week. We'll see what I can do. But anyways, it'll be soon. Love you. Bye.